All right guys, today we're gonna to be getting this kicker sub installed into the boat. In a previous video of mine, I installed an amp and some new speakers and they sound great, but I wanna add a little bass and I think this 10 inch kicker sub will be just perfect for that. Now, if you're thinking about installing a sub in your boat, you have two options. You can go with a powered sub, in which case it essentially comes with a built-in amplifier. And in that case, you'll need to install the sub and then run a dedicated power cable back to the battery. The second option and the option I'm going with is using a passive sub, which you'll just need to install in the boat and then connect the speaker wires to an external amplifier. Since I just installed an amp into the boat in my previous video, I'll be using that to power the sub. Another thing I'll add is that you'll wanna make sure if you do have an amp in the boat that it has the additional capacity to add a sub. The general way it works is a two channel amp can supply two speakers, a four channel amp can supply four speakers and so on. In my case, I installed a four channel amp and all I have is two speakers and so I have additional capacity to go ahead and install this. Now you actually can bridge the third and fourth channel on this amp if you needed the additional power, but each channel on this amp has enough power for this sub, so I won't worry about doing that. I'm definitely not an audio expert, so I'd recommend reading your amp and speaker manuals just to make sure you're gonna have the appropriate power. What I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you guys where I installed the sub, how I connect it to the amp and how I secure it to the boat. There are pretty much unlimited options when it comes to securing the sub to the boat, but what I've decided on is using these L brackets and first screwing them into the sub and then putting the sub where I need it to be and then getting them screwed into the back wall. It's a very tight space in there and so it's gonna be somewhat of a challenge to get these brackets where I need them to be and screwed in. And so I'm gonna be doing some measuring and uh, figure out where I need to attach these brackets whether that's to the side or the top. And uh, I'll try to show you guys as best I can how I get that done. All right, let's get started. Okay, I've got the sub in the spot where I'm gonna want to mount it. So what I'm gonna do now is take these brackets and put them where I think I'll be able to reach the drill to screw them in. And so I'll get those marked onto the sub and then I'll pull the sub out and screw these on. Okay, so I've marked where I'll be installing these brackets, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so I've now got the brackets installed that I'll be using. I have two on the left side and one on the right. These are the only points where I feel like I'll be able to reach once I've got this in there. And my main worry is it tipping forward. And so I think with all of these three points that I'm securing it, uh, it'll definitely hold it from falling forward. And it's, it's quite heavy and it's a tight space where it's gonna be in. So I won't have any worries about it moving around. All right, and one more thing before we do get the sub installed is you'll wanna make your speaker wire cut to the appropriate length and get that connected to the sub before you get everything installed up there because especially in my case, it's gonna be really hard to get this connected once it's where it needs to be. All right, so I've got the sub installed where it needs to be. And so I'll see if I can show you guys where I'll be screwing that into the wall there. And then I can't show you guys around the right side, but I showed you guys where I mounted that. So that's where I'll be installing that one. All right, so the last thing to do here is get the sub connected to the amp. So I'll be using just the third channel and plugging this cable into that third channel here. 
All right, so I've got the sub connected to channel three on the amp. Now on this side is how you adjust the levels and channels one and two are together and three and four are together. So what I've done is turned this level for channels three and four up about halfway. And I have adjusted the low pass filter and high pass filter for the recommended settings for my sub. And so let's go ahead and see how it sounds. <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully you could hear that. It definitely sounds a lot better with that extra bass. Um, hopefully you guys were able to see enough for it to be helpful. With these videos where I'm in these tight spaces, it's really hard for me to get the camera under there, but I tried to show you guys as much as I could. If you're thinking about installing an amp, I would definitely recommend watching my other video where I install an amp, and then you can go ahead and follow this one for installing a sub. If this video was helpful for you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.